tonight we're testing to destruction again, this time to see which type of computer memory can withstand all of this. To begin with, we thought we'd look at the ultimate example of indestructible technology. It comes from a highly classified industry, but the gadget show has been given privileged access. I'm talking about this, a flight data recorder, otherwise known as an aeroplane's black box. It records 25 hours worth of data, like engine power and altitude, while cockpit microphones feed in what the pilots are saying and even the sound of clicking switches. If the worst happens, then the hunt immediately begins to recover the black box from the wreckage, which could be spread over hundreds of miles. The data inside is used to paint a picture about the aircraft's last moments. Black box construction is highly specialised. Only a handful of companies and just two in Britain have risen to the challenge of designing something that has to endure the most stringent testing procedures in the world. This manufacturer's footage shows first the penetration test, where a 500 pound steel spike is dropped on the box from 10 feet. If the casing is too thin, the spike goes clean through like a hole punch, but make the casing just a fraction thicker and the spike bounces off. Then the black box has to endure a 5,000 pound crush test in a hydraulic press. If it flinches, it fails. But the harshest test is having to endure 1,100 degrees centigrade for one hour then 260 degrees centigrade for 10 hours. Now you know why they're called black boxes. But no matter how charred the exterior, the recorded information inside must be kept pristine. This steel casing isn't actually meant to be indestructible. It's only the precious data inside that needs protecting. So within this is the titanium crash box, which in turn in cases, the memory chips. To help deflect those heavy impacts, the crash box is cylindrical. To withstand what could be 20 tonnes of blazing jet fuel, a heat-resistant packing is used, similar to the material found in fire safes. And to protect against crashing into the sea, the chips are covered in a microscopic layer of varnish. Then, by law, the box must have one-inch high lettering in English and French and has to be painted International Orange Tint 594. An emergency beacon that will last 30 days is then fitted and the whole thing is mounted at the back of the plane, i.e. behind the crumple zone. When you found your black box, retrieving the information is designed to be as simple as possible. There's just one socket and you just plug in this universal adapter and your computer will automatically show you the data that you need to download. So if we just click on channel one, okay, there you go. It's as simple as that, it just takes seconds. So, what's next for black boxes? Well, unlike everything else, miniaturization is not on the cards. This is about as small as they'll get. Any smaller, and they'd be even harder to find. They're certainly tough enough so it seems the next development will be to add in cameras so that you can see and not just hear what the pilots were doing. For the smart Alex out there who are wondering why, if you can protect the contents of a black box, can't they build a plane in the same way? Well, if they did, it'd be so heavy, it wouldn't be able to get off the ground. 